People think it's all a joke until you're in this kind of situation, which I wake up every day with serious written all over me. I'm just now getting at that age where, you know, I have friends that are doing drugs, and because of what happened to my brother, I just know the consequences aren't worth it. If you are with a negative and you are not strong enough in your own self, you will be brought down with them. And you won't even know it. And you'll defend yourself, you'll justify yourself. Oh, nothing's wrong with me, I'm not changing. But you do, and when that happens, your mentality changes. I'm just a normal guy. I just work, go to school, and just, just be dedicated. When I got to high school, all my friendships just kind of fell apart, and they were all totally different than I've been used to my whole life. I've dealt with drugs all my life. You know, both my parents are addicts, you know? So for me, it was like, you know, it was just the lifestyle. I have an older brother who struggled with heroin use. I worry about finding, like, going home one day and just finding my mom dead. It's all a bunch of messed up stuff. Been, I've been shot, stabbed all kinds. My dad got addicted to pills, and that has been the story ever since. It wasn't until he overdosed that I actually even realized that my dad had alcohol problems, drug problems for my whole life. There's a lot of hurt, pain, uh, regret, stuff that overwhelms people. At first, it's a really easy choice. You can say yes or no. Well, I started like eating nerve pills and stuff like after my parents divorced and stuff. I was experimenting with drugs because of my temporary problems, which I really don't find temporary. You know, it really messed my head up. Why did I start smoking? Oh, I mean, it's just one of those times I mean, when your friends just like, you know, it's like, it was peer pressure, man. It's just like, huh, man, you, you here, you might as well, we about to teach you whatever. It seems like really rational, like when you do it, like you're like the exception to like becoming addicted. Like you're like, oh, I'm just gonna take this, you know, and it'll be fine and I'm not gonna become addicted. But that's, you know, what if everyone thinks that before they take this? Like not just to get a higher buzz, just to see. And that's how I got on everything, just curiosity. I hung around the cool kids, man. That's what I thought. You know, I thought I was the one with the big dogs. I was doing what they were doing. I was smoking what they were smoking. I was drinking what they were drinking. Just like on the music videos when I was little. And just curiosity, just, you know, what it was like, you know, and everybody else was doing it. So, you know, of course, you know. It's by choice. And yeah, it might be they would just want something stronger, but it's still their choice and they can still say no. Oh, my grades suck. I became that C minus to C student. It's hard to concentrate when you're an addict because you just want a fix. It's, that's it. And I was always had a negative attitude about stuff, like this, blah, blah, blah. Whenever he starts hanging out with his friends, it's like he becomes a completely different person. And he doesn't care about me or my brothers. Your brain will adapt to it. And so again, it gets that first dose. You get high. Um, it, it enjoys it, and it, but it says, OK, now I'm ready for that the second time. But I'm really, I'm, I'm prepared for it. So now, to maybe to get that same high or take, have your brain take that break, it needs more again. And, and it just keeps building on, it, on itself. I guess it really began with him, like, smoking pot and drinking. Well, I started, you know, just, you know, like how any other kid, they usually, they start smoking pot. And then, you know, it turned into, I started taking nerve pills all the time. And then it was, you know, Adderall. And then I started doing pain pills. And then pain pills wasn't enough. So that's when I started using heroin. Those things were sort of the starting point for him, and it just progressed from there, you know? I started getting into pills after marijuana, you know, drinking in school, getting drunk. There's a view that pills are clean and heroin's dirty, and, and take it for what you will, pills are just as bad. What got me hooked on heroin's first line, and I was smoked a joint before and it was already really high, because it was some chronic, and I was like, I couldn't get any more higher. Shorter a line of heroin and felt amazing, like the best I've ever felt in my life. 
and nothing could ever replace that first feeling I had. And I kept wanting to f get that every day. Just feel invincible, no problems, nothing to think about. Just feel invincible and it screwed me over. Your body gets so immune to different things, it's like levels. And once you get so much of marijuana, you're gonna want more and more and more and more to smoke just to get that high you got the first time. Same with cocaine. Start off with little lines of cocaine and turn into huge lines of cocaine, thick lines. I didn't know that he was using heroin until he overdosed the first time. I really don't know how to explain it. You want it every day, all day, and you try to get it every day, all day, just to get that one feeling, but you'll never have it, ever. And there's a point where you're just so high up there that, you know, you just gotta do it just to even feel normal for the day. Like, you don't even, you don't get high no more. You're just normal. It's like to have to live a normal life. It's awful. <laughs> Where heroin acts, it's an area that, that, that needs to be fed. Once it gets one, it constantly needs to be fed. And, and, and when you take it away and it's not getting that anymore and it depends on it, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna cause your body to do anything it can to go, to go get that substance back. So it, it makes you feel sick. And these people really get sick when they stop using. Eventually, it's, you don't use it, you're dope sick. You're on the ground crunching up, puking, because you don't have it. Oh, it's awful. I mean, you know, it's like um, you get like the hot and cold sweats, and then, um, you know, you're puking, you know, just feeling that urge. You get pains like in your legs, in your arms, in your back. Your head's pounding. You can't sleep. You can't eat. It's terrible. It's like the worst feeling in the world. And like, I, when I look back, you know, now from this, like, I think it's like, why did I let myself be like that? So heroin, it's, it's fancy talk, is an opioid. So it's kind of, it's a drug that is meant to slow things down. And what happens in an overdose is people will take it. Um, it will, it will hit all those spots and it'll hit them very hard, you know, with either a lot or a very potent dose. And, and in an overdose, it will then, you know, the body will just stop responding. It will stop breathing. So rather than slow it down, it'll stop it altogether. I just, I knew I was dying. I was slowly killing myself. I OD'd a couple of times, and that really, like, changed me, knowing that you were on that bed dead and having to come back to life. He overdosed a second time, and it was a lot worse. And he suffered um, severe brain damage from it. And he got arrested, and I remember, like, the feeling of, like, a relief, like, that, like, I really wasn't bothered by him getting arrested. I was just happy that he wasn't dead. You want to stay high because you don't want to think of the problems. But you're going to have to deal with the problems or you're not going to go anywhere. And if you keep getting high, you're going to be in the same situation you were stuck in six years ago. And then you're all alone in the end. All alone, broke, and probably in jail. Just try to kick your door in. <laughs> Take you to jail, pretty much. It's awful. I thought it was the worst experience of my life. You know, my decision was, I'm going to get high and not think about it. I'll deal with it later, which I'm dealing with it later. If you're looking up to people like that who do drugs and all that type of stuff, like, if you think that's cool, like, you got to be young-minded because in reality, drugs don't Drugs don't get you far. They gonna get you in a casket or locked up in prison. I don't understand how um, not knowing where you're at is cool. Not knowing who you slept with the night before is cool. You do have a choice, and, 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 and it's an important choice, again, because you will lose your ability to, to make your own choices once you start down that road. I've just seen the horrors of heroin use. And that's just not something I would ever be inclined to try or be around anyone who is doing it. Drugs have not helped me. I never ever would have thought I would have been an addict. It's, it's a horrible life to go down for real. I wish I never did. You're going to be curious. It's natural to be curious. But there are big consequences here when you explore and when you, when you start exploring with this stuff. There, there are some major, major consequences. Like saying, just say no, do that because it works and it will help you out in the long run. Like, am I going to try this and get addicted to it? I don't know. 
Am I gonna try this and not get addicted? I don't know. So, I mean, really, tr with trying any drug, it's a risk. Find things that make you happy. Find good people in your life, and then you won't need something to fill that void in your life. Because it's never worth it. It won't ever be worth it. You know, the outcome is most likely gonna be a lot more negative than positive, inevitably. You don't have to look just like everyone else and you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. Stay in something as positive as you can. If you want to get up and you want to go to school, then you're gonna get up and go to school. If you want to get good grades and you want to go to college, you're gonna go. You'll find a way. But if you, if you want to sit at home and you want to sleep all day and you want to feel sorry for yourself, then that's what you're gonna do. So I guess that I had to change my want to. There are mistakes where even an entire lifetime is not gonna be enough to really fix it. You don't have to be where you came from. It's all part of what you want and what who you want to be. I think stick with school and getting good grades and actually becoming something of yourself, not doing all this stuff and going down. Just don't mess with any drugs or anything that could threaten um, the, the way you live your life. You have so much potential. You can do anything, you know. You could be anything you want to be, you know. So why lose all that, you know? Why, you know, just throw that all away just for a buzz? It's not worth it at all, at all. <laughs> Never met a perfect, like, person with, that's doing good for their self on heroin. Never met.